Hello dear viewers, today we are going to assemble the Super Deformed Gundam Cross Silhouette Zaku 2. This is Bandai's uh, series of products that features uh, inner frame technology that's similar to its uh, real grade and master grade kits. It's just that it's more in a chibi style figurine. So this is the first three steps where you will assemble the body and the legs. Before moving on to the uh, right arm, left arm, waist, head and its weapon systems. You will notice that uh, this middle section is in colour while the front is in black and white. These here are the parts, that the sprues that will be involved. So we will have sprue A1 which holds uh, the Zaku 2's uh, inner frame parts. It's all molded in a grey colour. Then we'll have sprue B1 which was previously attached to B2. This is the dark green armour parts. Meanwhile, uh, sprue B2 is uh, the lighter green parts for Zakutu's arms, legs, armour and head. Last of the sprues used is sprue C which has the black parts of the Gundam's feet, weapons, chest and knees. And we also have the four stickers here, which is the pink for the uh, weapons, the lenses of the weapons, and the silver piece for the mono eye of the Zaku 2. So then these are the uh, stickers and the uh, sprues that will be used for the assembly of the super deformed uh, Zaku. So now let's proceed to the assembly of the super deformed Zaku 2. So here are all the sub-assemblies of the SD Zaku 2 or Super Deformed Zaku 2 that have been assembled and panel lined. Uh, no top coats were applied and neither were they painted. All that I did was just to panel line uh, straight out of the box build. We begin the assembly of Zaku 2 by having a detailed look at its parts beginning with the head that I'm holding here. Uh, all I did here was panel lining as I mentioned earlier and perhaps put on a false sticker for the mono eye inside its head. Next, we look at its body and uh, backpack towards the back. The natural gloss of the, part of the plastic looks fantastic so no additional work apart from panel lining was done. Here then is the right arm. It has a large rectangular shoulder shield attached to it. Meanwhile, on the left arm, there is a spiked shoulder armor. Instead of the uh, rectangular shield on the right arm. Now we are looking at the waist, which has a great glossy finish with some panel lining done sort of a semi-gloss finish to the molded plastic. Here then we have both legs and as I keep saying, the gloss finish of the green armour looks fantastic. These are then the left and right legs and feet of the SD Zaku 2. You know, here are the missile port attachments which attach onto the leg. Here then is the bazooka and that uh, shiny lens, that you, pink lens you see there is the four sticker that was applied onto it. Here is the machine gun of the Zaku 2 which also has a smaller uh, pink lens. Then now I'm holding its uh, heat saber which has a clear yellow part for the blade. So now then we will move on to the assembly process for the Zaku 2. We begin by attaching the right arm onto its body via a ball joint. Next is his uh, left arm. This is followed by the waist, 
which is also via a ball joint connection. Following this, we will put on the Zaku's leg, also via ball joints. I'm just making sure that the attachment is secure and tight because it, it feels kind of loose when I first put it in. So that's the right leg. Now this is the left leg. Same kind of joint. Attachment is secure, fairly secure. The kit feels solid and stable when stood on its feet. Here I'm just making sure all the connections so far are tight and secure before proceeding to the Zaku's head which I'll attach now also via a simple ball joint which allows rotational movement of the head albeit the, a very limited movement Again, just making sure everything is secure and tight Rotational movement, as I've mentioned, is fairly limited to a few degrees movement to the left and right. The reason why I'm pressing it firmly down onto the body because it does seem a bit loose to me but that could be just me. The connection feels strong enough that the head is not coming off. So let's proceed. Oh, the mono eyepiece has fallen off. Uh, let's put it back onto the head. Now while it was off, you might have noticed the silver foil sticker underneath the clear pink lens. Now this was applied underneath the clear pink lens to allow for a better reflection of light. So that when light hits the head, you can see the mono eyepiece uh, the mono eye sort of shining at you. So that's the Zaku 2 itself. Now we'll move on to its weapons. First of which will be the missile pods that are attached to the sides of the legs, beginning with the right leg. Now the leg has come off. Let's do it for the left leg now. Perhaps a better way would be to put the missile pods onto the leg first before attaching them to the waist like so. So then this is the Zaku, how the Zaku 2 looks before you start building the handheld weapons. It's a great looking uh, kit. So now let's move on to have a look at its weapons. So now we're going to have a more detailed look at the Zaku 2's handheld weapons, how the kit the, or the figurine can hold the weapons in both hands and how it can be attached uh, to the back of the figure as I'll show you now. now here I'm attaching the bazooka to its right hand and giving it a simple pose. The fit is reasonably tight as it can be removed from a, via a pack uh, slash hole connection. So it's flexible in that regard. Here then I'm fixing it onto its back so that it can be sort of stored uh, for use. Next is the heat saber, which fits rather loosely onto the hand, which might not be so good for posing purposes. So let's take it out for now. Instead, let's attach the machine gun onto the right hand. The fit. Definitely is better. 
as compared to the heat saver which I'm going to give another try now I guess it's not too bad so that's then is the Zaku 2 or the super deformed Zaku 2 cross silhouette option for the kit with all its weapons attached It looks really cool with the bazooka attached to the back, the machine gun held on the right hand and the heat saber on the left. Oh no, that's the, the legs have come off. So I guess the fitting is quite loose there. So I'll have to remove the bazooka first before reinserting both legs. Now without the bazooka attached to his back, I can lie the Zaku 2 flat on his back for a better top-down camera view. But don't worry, I'll put it back on uh, on his feet and while we do the uh, 360 degree view later on. Here then is the super deformed cross silhouette Zaku 2 option for the uh, Bandai Hello Kitty kit with all of its weapons attached. Uh, this is uh, the Zaku 2 in a chibi style figurine which is meant to be kind of a cute version of the mobile suit armor. As you can see, the gloss finish of the uh, original molded plastic looks fantastic. I have not painted this kit at all. The only thing I have done on the kit apart from building it up is to panel line it. So it's a great kit to do a straight out of the box build with uh, minimal work uh, in this case uh, by doing panel lining and applying the necessary foil stickers on the kit overall not only did, was this a uh, simple straightforward kit to put together it was also a very fun build and the results that you can see here shows that even though uh, not much work is put in the kit already looks fantastic. Uh, I believe this makes it a great kit for beginners. Thanks so much dear viewers for watching this SD Zaku 2 video. Let's move on now to the last part of the Hello Kitty video series.